Uh, All right, Dante. So, what do I do first? When I have powers of the same base, what do I do when I multiply? What do I do to their exponents? Add them. He said Dante. Okay. So, what's two times four? X times X squared. X uh, Y cubed times no Y. Y cubed. Done. Wow. Oh wow. Damn. Rocket science finished. Okay. Three times one. Three. Negative four plus one. Negative one plus zero. He had the hard time. Right? Now here's the thing. If it's a negative, I want you to write it in two ways. You gotta write it like this. And you also have to write it as three over a cubed b. Okay? You need to write it both on one line and as a fraction. Okay? All right, remember, we've got to do exponents first, right? That means I have to do this first. So what is 2 cubed? So everything gets cubed. What's 2 cubed? 8. What's m cubed? M cubed. Yeah. And m n to the negative 3 cubed. N to the negative 3 cubed. Okay, so you're multiplying, right? Yeah. Okay, now it's m times all that. So what is that going to give you? 8m to the 4th and then 8. Good. 8m and 8m to the 4th and n to the negative 9. Now write that as Now write that as a fraction. Right as a fraction. 8 over m. 8 m to the 4 m. over sorry, m to the 4 over n to the 9. You just change the negative to a positive. Okay? Is that easy? No. Alright, next. You. What? Alright. Now what do we do when we divide? Wyatt, what do we do when we divide? You have to subtract, right? But before we can do that, we need to do what's down here first. We have to do this so everybody on the block gets the paper. So what is 2 squared? Okay. What is 2 times 0? 0. Okay. What is 2 times uh, 4? 8. 8. What is 2 times 3? 6. Okay. And then 2p to the negative 4. So what is 2 times 4? 8. 8. So I've got 8. P to the negative 4. No, no. Remember, these two make what? When I multiply, I add, right? So it becomes p squared, and then n to the 8, right? So n to the 8p squared, all over m squared p to the 4th. Okay? Now, if I write this in negative exponents, all on one line, this is kind of difficult. This is really 2 to the 3rd, right? So now it's 2 to the negative 3 times n. There's an n on the top. No, he said it. There's an n on the top? Yeah. N m. Oh, my bad. N m. So there's an n here? N b. So that means that there's an n here? Yeah. Okay, that means that there is, what is 1 minus 8? Negative 7. 
Okay? And then what is 4 minus 2? Oh, 2? Right? And that's on one line. And then I can write it on two lines, right? On two lines, it would be p squared over 8 into the 7. Why did you change 8 to 2 to the negative? Well, because you can't change, you can't put, well, I could have put 8 to the negative 1 up there, if you want. The reason I changed 8 to a t uh, power of 2 is because later on in pre-cal, we're going to be changing things into the powers of 2s, powers of 3s a lot. Powers of 4s, powers of 2s, and powers of 3s. Okay? So you're going to get used to changing 8 to the 2 cubed. Um, what happened to the m squared? So, uh, what did happen to the m squared? It should still be there. So m, this should be mn, right? N M? No, M M N O P. You're confusing me, Dad. So N to the negative seven and M squared. Because we didn't have any any M's on the bottom. So that means that there would be an M squared right here. So is that right? All right? Sorry about that. Alright, yeah. Huh? What? I think it's even combined. Okay, you gotta make sure you do this first, then this, and then combine the two. What's the answer say in the back of the book? The same answer you have. Same answer I have? Yeah. This is fine. I just skipped that step. The one that you have on the top, it's in the green. That's what's in the alpha first. So I, I just go straight stuff that I have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so what should I do with this one? Carry three through the whole freaking thing. Now you can. You can carry the three through the whole freaking thing, or you can do everything in here first. Okay? I suggest kind of clean it up. Right? Put everything into one. So like you keep your two here, right? Your x goes to the negative one, right? Um, oh wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. First of all, guys, I gotta connect these. I got x to the fourth, y to the three, right? Now I'm gonna bring them together. So now I've got. 2x to negative 4. Uh, y to the 3. And z to the 3. O to the 3. And now it's going to be 2 cubed, which is 8. x to the negative 12. y to the 9. Wait, Rosie, you forgot this. And z to the 9. And then I can write that all on one line as 8y to the 9, z to the 9, over x to the 12. Okay? And those would be your two answers.